For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here in the Hack Across America van, and I want to tell you about the brand new Packet Squirrel Mark II. But first, I want to tell you some stories about how this came to be, because I really think it's kind of fundamental to what it is to be a hacker. And as you may know, just to recap, the Packet Squirrel is a matchbook-sized Linux box that you can, you know, plug in Ethernet in line between any segment of a network. And then from there, in typical Hack5 fashion, you've got a switch to switch between arming mode and multiple payloads. And it serves as a payload platform that can do cool, handy functions like logging all of the network traffic to uh, USB storage uh, in a PCAP format. So you can like analyze it in Wireshark or spoofing DNS uh, queries that go across the wire or even, you know, just using it as a remote access VPN into the network. And like most Hack5 gear as a payload platform, you can build on it. Uh, but in this brave new world, we discovered a fun new challenge for the Packet Squirrel, and that is the supply chain. And to be honest, this actually isn't the first time something like this has happened. Going back as far as 2012, the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV actually came about because we were forced to reimagine everything when the main IC just went out of style. But that actually led to the Mark V and Pine AP and all of the Wi-Fi attacks that we know and love today. So let me just say, whoever first said that necessity is the mother of invention got it spot on. And let me also say, we have been extremely lucky because around the same time that we needed to reimagine the Packet Squirrel, none other than Mike Kershaw is on our team. I'm talking Dragorn from the Kismet Wireless Project and just digging into this challenge. And let me say, Mike took this and ran with it because what he's come up with is nothing short of a masterpiece. The Packet Squirrel Mark II has not only just 20 new ducky script commands, but also these low level utilities that do some really heavy lifting network manipulation wise. So get this, you know how like the key croc can intercept keystrokes and then match on regular expressions of what's being typed and then perform an action? Well, the Packet Squirrel Mark II can actually match on regex the contents of a TCP stream and then perform all those custom actions uh, you know, so when something occurs that you're interested in, like, I don't know, logging basic auth or any other protocol you can imagine, uh, you could also then, you know, kill those TCP streams based on port or regular expressions by doing RST injection. So you could actually write something that would, I don't know, um, drop packets entirely if a VPN connection were trying to be established. There are even options to isolate or jail clients uh, that go in addition to, of course, the NAT and bridge and transparent network modes. So one of my favorites has got to be, and there's actually an entire white paper on this that you need to dig into, the Packet Squirrel Mark II's dynamic proxy. It can intercept and log any side of a TCP connection arbitrarily. So get this, I, I know that doesn't sound like much, but I'll give you my favorite example because I'm sure it's going to raise a few eyebrows on your next engagement. Imagine planting this on a target and logging every port 9100 PCL print job that are, yeah, plain text and also trivial to convert into PDF. We're talking pen test gold when you consider what actually gets printed in this day and age. So, you know, couple that with, of course, encrypted storage and mass exfiltration and management with Cloud C2, self-destruct. It's a pen test powerhouse that I'm really proud of. And um, it even actually has an entirely custom DNS spoofing engine for those looking to do phishing campaigns. Uh, and what's great is that, yes, you can write these scripts entirely in our simple scripting language, DuckyScript, but then if you wanna make them more complex, you can actually include now not just Bash, but Python and leverage the entire Linux base that's under the hood. It's really an incredible platform. I know I've actually gotten to learn a lot more about both networking and programming by using it and, and testing it in development. Uh, and honestly, if you're looking for a place to learn some of those fundamentals, this is a really great place to start because Mike has actually also written a phenomenal textbook uh, 
close to 300 pages and over 35 projects and exercises that go into not just how to like manipulate traffic with the DuckyScript, but also the programming and networking principles you need to truly understand this art. Uh, you know, I absolutely loved going through the book. I, I learned how to custom craft a web server and bash and, you know, write a wake on land utility from scratch in Python. In addition to, of course, digging deep into all of the packet squirrel features. So definitely check out the textbook. There's even a little pocket guide like we did with the USB rubber ducky uh, that just make this tool super accessible. Uh, and of course, I mentioned it integrates with the entire Hack5 ecosystem. So not just Cloud C2 uh, server, but you know you can write the payloads in Payload Studio with all the pretty autocomplete and all of the other you know fun functions. Uh, and you can then share them and join the awesome community around Payload Hub. I honestly couldn't be more proud of this, and I'm I'm really grateful that you know the necessity of invention struck us and left us with a an incredibly powerful, tiny tool that you can use on your next engagement. Uh, it has just been an absolute blast to put together, and I'm so excited to share it with you now. So definitely go and check it out. There's so many more details over at hack5.org, and I'm just honored that I get to sit here and be on behalf of the entire team and say, you know, thanks. Thanks for checking out. Thanks for your support. Hack5.org, you know, and... Uh, Without further ado, trust your technolust. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and pen test products at hack5.org.